Everyone and welcome to more Darkest Dungeon 2. Today we're going to be continuing where we left off. And that's interesting, I just spotted that. You can unlock all heroes to gain access to the mountain. Don't know what that is, something to look forward to in the coming days, I imagine, as we keep playing. Quite a way off unlocking all the heroes, I think we are... We've unlocked one, but we've got just seven left to unlock. Quite a few left. So, uh, I mean, let's get to it. Let's start unlocking some. We did get a upgrade to give me more candles. So we should be doing that quicker. I mean, these later upgrades cost so much candles. That, um, I'm not going to be going too far into them. I think these, these, yeah, these ones at the bottom I don't really need to do. Unless I want to increase the difficulty, which I don't need to quite yet. I mean, as a roguelite, like, there is permanent upgrades, so we will be probably increasing difficulty as we play. We'll see how it goes. I am interested in trying the new class. The house on the borderlands, half swallowed by the stain. It's about the nine. Commonalities between the mythos of ancient cultures was not a new area of study for either of us. But it was there that we first noticed the pattern. The crossroads. Interesting. Who will step forward into the light? <clears throat> so we're thinking of dropping our highwayman, Podismas, and bringing along the runaway, Pony. Apparently, she is a front line, front rank, stealthy burn support. What are her skills? She has searing strike. When the target is marked, it applies burn. We have... oh dear. We have abilities that need to be used on the back line, so that needs to be used on the front line. A little bit awkward. Smoke screen, that's pretty nice. We mark them and blind them. Run and hide, you run back one. <laughs> and uh, self... stealth, interesting. Path light. Remove stealth. There. It's not that interesting, honestly. The upgrades seem okay. Let's give it a go, see how we feel. I I feel like this is going to be a downgrade, honestly. How do I change my path? We're gonna go back to the dead eye. Um, on Audrey, she seemed very strong with that. Do I need to redo my skills every time? Looks like it. I really didn't understand Sergeant at all. Like each ally on turn start gaining this red. That didn't seem to happen. I'm not sure. Or is this a 20% chance for it to happen? I, I really didn't understand that one. I think we'll just leave him as a wanderer. Because um, I think we are going to have lower damage. We'll try this team though. Let's give it a go. Do we want Bellow? Emboldening vapors, though that could be interesting. What does two swords do again? Next attack deals fifty percent more damage. Could be useful on our, our battling character, but I think for now we'll be fine as it is.
You came here seeking solace, but found stagnation instead. We have our upgraded stagecoach with a plus one armor and the ability to smash into things and occasionally find items. I think is what I am. Harshly on the far side of the brook. The bulwark of your denial is giving way. Seen all these enemies before. So what do we want to do? Actually, the big old poker. I like her animations, they're very cool. But are they any good? That is the question. I'm happy to blind this big guy and mark him. Let's actually let's just blind everyone. Screw you and your abilities. Don't want to assume my mark. Let's bring this lady to the front. Maybe that was a mistake, actually. Oh, Critterella is here still. I am enjoying the grave of quite a lot. She seems to be quite strong. <laughs> so now we can consume our by our combo to burn. And these guys are not very burn resistant at all. But this guy being the back is a little bit annoying. Can we push this guy back again? Is that worth it? Seem to all that ability seem to push them back. Interesting. Yeah, not really worth it. Okay, we are learning. We are. Learning. Just keep moving, I think. Let's get a guaranteed kill. The horror procking. I think this guy should die to the dots. Definitely. Or not. He's death storing. Wow, she went first. Are you kidding? And I missed. <laughs> Lovely. This guy should die in a second. A master stroke. All problems have their solutions. Even That's the gruesome corpse. So this searing strike does always burn. I did misread that. So it just does double the burn when the target has been marked. Unfortunately, do anything. Yeah, there's a corpse in the way. Shouldn't. So. It did not. I have mastery. I think you just get that all the time. I don't know if this is a difficulty level thing. But... Are you shaken? There is so much worse in store. We know. We know. Tonight, under the mountain's unblinking gaze. Some bread. Stale bread, some neutralizing powders, a trinket. I'm happy to give this guy the guarding trinket, because I think guard just stacks. Um, don't need the stale bread yet, I don't think. What's this? 
Torch and crown, positive relationship chance minus 10, negative relationship minus 10. Interesting. I have not seen this before. So everyone's starting at minus 9. Not minus 9. <laughs> They're kind of in the minus, but have a 9% rating. So they are very close to being in a negative relationship and very far away from being positive. We'll try and remedy that. We don't have any pets. Let's give this man neutralizing powders, I guess. That's fine. I would like this shrine now. That would be good. Conventional fare, but fairly priced. We have the big old radiant flame. I still don't want to use it. Orphan wolf pet. Expires if not mounted. And it's free. Luxury gear plus 10 positive relationship chance. I don't know what that means. Medical equipment, less flame drain, crow's nest. But oh, there's so much here to just read and look through. I feel like I could do this almost all day. 5% crit, that is not very much. It's only 20 baubles, I guess. And we have a fair amount of baubles. Might as well pick one of these up. Let's have a thing. I'll go with the crit. The mixture trainer. However painful, is the greatest teacher of all. Can't see what the skill of crits do because it's covered by right. Smoke screen blinds for two turns and applies vulnerable and marks. That is pretty good. Run and hide is a heal. Half light, it removes all blind on allies as well. Quite like the upgraded smoke screen. That seems interesting. We throw dagger a lot. Probably a little bit too much. I'm going to upgrade that. Uh, I did like the upgraded card. That felt very nice. Last game, I did also like the upgraded bolster. Probably don't need to do that right now. What about it's the poison? Upgrade is noxious blast. I like blight. Blight is fun. Planning and mindfulness. And let's add the stage item. Steel. And do I give this to? Person, or do I put it on the... Ooh. I don't understand. I guess it's... Do I put it on the wing? I'm gonna just put it here. Yes. We now have a Orphan Wolf Cup. And is that now become someone's pet, or is that... Okay, I understand. So everyone gets the benefit of this pet. Interesting. So we now have plus 10 positive relationship chance, which is probably quite useful. And then drink it time, give her the crit. Clutch at a weak grip. Our melee skills less crit. Tough is pretty good. That's nice for our mana arms. Got some okay perks and uh, let's Everywhere go root in ruin. Fog Everywhere. of war for hit the watchtower, but we get a mastery point or spelunker. Clear the layer. That's a pretty good trinket. Peace and hope. 100% candle of hope chance at assistance. So basically that's just a load of candles. How do I see my what are my guys quests visit the enter the sprawl visit assistance encounters and scout the region with a watchtower hmm 
I'm gonna spelunk. Mud and rain, resignation and death. This land is truly barren. And it's truly barren. I think pretty familiar with the tangle name. I do like this intro. Feels so hostile. Only resignation. We've got a hero shrine, a creature den, and an unknown. Well, we can't avoid the watchtower here, so I guess we fail that instantly. Continue hero story, but we gain plus one loathing. Wow, there is so many oblivion tears on this man. Might not want to go there then. Um, perhaps we go. Yeah, I'm gonna go forward. Travel without proper reconnaissance. A hasty and reckless thing indeed. It's car control so bad. Assistance encounter. Quite early on to find that, but that's fine. Really, this guy just wants to leave. It's a bit dumb. Flame of food or flame of wheels? And well, we don't need any more wheels, so we'll take the food. Some slime long. Oh, I didn't eat the bread, I forgot. Oh. I meant to eat the blood because I knew I was going to do a boss fight. Reliable information brings accurate yeah, insight. Doing a boss fight after now, all. The Watchtower. I've done one of these before. Oh wow, that is very worth it. I guess you don't get a reward for going to the witch tab, it does help you denied. pick your way. That is so many tears. Oasis, never seen that before. Well, we're on our way to the lair. That's where we want to go. And so do all of my lives. At least we know what's coming. We gain something by smashing something open. My wheels are getting pretty busted here. And oh, like, this map feels cool. Hello there. General's keep. Within every keep. A general and his loyal lumbering guard. I am very well, thank you. Thank you for asking. We yeah, are trying out Darkest Dungeon 2 for the first time. Very early on in the game. Read what the Watchtower does. Watchtower Scouts reveals every location in the region. It is usually well worth the detail, especially early on in the region. So that, that makes sense. Still with this archer. I'm not sure if the blind is worth it here. Kill this little soul, I think. Is that enough damage? It sure is. My god, is eating instantly. I don't think it's worth doing the blind again. I think we'll kill that archer once we get very unlucky. Okay. 
and let's throw out smoke screen on the guy who's about to attack. Set him up for some nasty stuff. Damn, he's still there. I guess we can so it's not bad. Set up the kill. Through his block, eventually. Do you have anything that good I can do here? Death store, I suppose. Measured and and heal myself. Immediately lose all the health we just healed. Oh well. Hey, there are three fights in this place. Oh, yeah, of course, the there are a boss. Well, I think we're gonna have to just play a little bit passive while I heal this guy back up to health. Sorry, this lady, as we found out in her story. He should die in a second, so let's see if we can get another heal out. Should die on his turn. This is a little greedy. The smallest variable but it pays off. can make all the difference. Time to advance deeper into the layer. These are new guys. Okie dokie. <laughs> I don't like a guy with a drone. Whenever enemies uh they like give them weapons that don't look effective at all, you know those are the guys that are gonna be killing you. Somehow. What have we got? Order. Preparing to use a powerful skill. Okay. Well, let's blind him. I don't want to deal with that. And definitely kill you know, a bishop or a drummer. Both of those sound horrible. Analysis we have seen the bishop. To action. He did smite and purge the unworthy. Okay. I love the animation of that drama. That's fantastic. What can we learn upon closer inspection? I think we go for the bishop. I'm worried he's going to have healing. Let's get some protection off our mine. Let's purge the unworthy. We'll line up some stuns. March numbers. Ouch. Ooh, that was a big hit. No, I think we need to kill the drum. I think drummer needs to. It's some not allowed to turn. That, that's what that felt like. Uh, hmm. This lady's reach is a bit of a problem. Might be frontline, but you certainly can't do anything else and particularly useful. Then, no crit. Gosh. I don't mind being. Having taunt forced on my tank. I'm not sure that guy thought that through very well. 40% chance to crit. A small foundation of trust. Another blind now. Oh, I guess. I guess we just can't get lucky at the moment. We have a ton of lead. Ah, this is unfortunate. 
think these are three very, very strong enemies. I think it is extremely unlikely that we are going to be able to defeat this boss. And yeah. Yeah. Relief comes rarely in these times. Savor it. This has not gone well. This guy has been blind for every attack and he's landed every single one. It's, uh, it's not good. It's not good at all. Well, we got some trinkets. We got some stuff. We got a trophy. The General's Dream. Reverberating Redoubt. We are definitely leaving. Cowardly. But correct. Let's throw together some trinkets now. We've got some. What? Just rewards, wasn't it? I was looking at what I got for advancing instead of what I actually got. That's fine. We'll heal up a little bit. Wheels is new, coach limping. Be prudent. Really should have eaten that bread though, shouldn't I? When the cult came, no orders were shouted. No swords were drawn. There was only stupefying horror and the catatonic lethargy that follows it. Christy wants to run away. Bonnie wants to go in. Here we go. There's another drummer, but not a load of horrible things. Defensive formation. We can deal with that. How much bleed did these guys apply? None at all. Getting some blinds that actually do something. This guy is not guarded in all of them. We really need to do a little bit of them. Better to do a blind. Play it safe with low health. What a guard on our not tanking man. Lots of block plus. And I guess in a way blind is kind of like a guard. Drummer is really annoying. Mm. 
He's guarded by Foot Soldier. If we kill Foot Soldier, which I can't quite do. Why are you so annoying, Ramaman? Really? That wasn't enough to kill him? Oh dear. I think I've misplayed all of them. What I was hoping to do was get a kill here and then throw this and kill the drummer at the bank. Instead what I managed to do was leave him on one health. Are you kidding? An unforeseen complication. We are having some dreadful luck. Oh my gosh, this this drama feels OP OP. The fiend's strength dwindles. A lesson taught. You know what? I'm just gonna open up an expedition. I uh not oh, not too happy with that outcome. I don't think that Bernie not Lady is is fitting in our in the I guess put it like that. And I oversee that it's just going to be a painful and slow loss. We through yeah, she does not fit position 2 at weakness. all. With her current skills, at least. Now we have no damage. So. Rethinking failure. In rethink it. Any other characters that would be interesting to unlock? I see what the Jester does with Ranlock? I don't think so. Let's try the Hellion. Hellion. We are play Doctor some more. A little more light, a little more strength. I'm gonna go for the Alchemist. Let's go just all in on our um, our lovely guy there. The true splendor of a world. Looks nice. Those who live within it. Sanctuary. Well, ignore. Ignore that run. Man. That was terrible. and ill-minded. No comfort awaits you here. We spent long nights immersed in crumbling, worm-eaten volumes, plumbing the forbidden secrets of antiquity. Getting a lot of use out of that the same picture, on me. A beacon for the broken and the battered. I've seen man standing by book pointing slightly about four times. So we're frontlining our pride. Let's have a look. Devastating at our the hilly. horrors of a hundred campaigns. That's more like it. That's some big damage. That's what we wanted. Iron Swan hits the back line of that is fantastic. Barbaric Yarp. Interesting. So we can either Iron Swan 
all we can if it bleeds. Iron Swan is a big hit at her back line, which is kind of what we want. So I'm thinking, maybe, we move the Heli into the front. Blood, lust, and fury. There is emptiness. And that's I'm slightly further back. It means I can't use if it bleeds, but that's fine. I think we just want some big fat damage. There's a smoke bomb four times. That is a weird kind of quest, but okay. Set up our dead eye again, and we want to set up. Probably not surgeon. We're going to try the just throwing as much blight as we can, uh, which is a little unfortunate because I don't have much blight skills. I have one. And surgeon is a much more healing they spec. Maybe that is what I need actually. As much as I want to do the blight spec, uh, let's let's not do that. Small health, more melee damage, healing skills increase healing, but our blight is a lot worse. So we'll drop noxious blast. Blinding gas is good. Incision, yep, and all of this is fantastic. Okay, that looks very good to me. I think we've got the setup we want, we'll match up pick to the face. And we have our team. Hopefully they'll be more successful. The road is yours to travel, but you are not alone. Okay. Got a little unlucky on that last expedition, and then also played badly. Are exhausted. Ahead, only trial. Which is always and the worst combination. The bulwark of your denial is giving way. Yeah, look, you can see these guys Let us take a closer look normally at have 40 blight resist, but this guy, they have 73 because he's so bad. So I keep calling this guy, this woman, I'm okay. On to the next. Now this is a bit of a weird thing to think. I can't look at for my characters are really tall or really small. So like the grave robber on the back there is gigantic, but I think it's mostly hat. Unless she has a very awkwardly shaped head. But uh, yeah, there's there's no real difference between the men and the women in size. So maybe the mass homes is just just a very angry swarm of them. Move the blank. Welcome relief from caustic agony. Don't you dare just reapply. I knew you were gonna do that. I knew it. Kill him, we do. Oh, that was a big hit. Reprieve until the next test is put before you. Barbarian 
that one. Hellion is feeling better in sync with our team. I think we maybe went a little bit too supporty last game. Maybe once I get some of their paths, get some more we'll stuff going, that could work. To write, think, and rest. We got provisional. We have our pet again. And why are the radiant flame full? I mean, I'm not meant to take this right. So I'm looking at that and like, is it, is it saying like, no, you, you should probably take it? You, you, you're progressing too slowly through the game. Chance to produce woven items. It's in like bandages. Perhaps. Interesting. I'm not sure if it's useful. Items. Smoke bombs. Bear traps, I'm assuming. No, they are not. We should spend this money though. Let's try and pick up something useful. Weed or common incense. Common incense is just better. Pick up some bread. Something to ease the rigors of the road. Some glimmers of hope. I'm not sure on any of these trinkets being particularly useful. Maybe I'll hang on to them for now. Okay, mastery tree. We can upgrade our wicked stand just a little taller at I the think end. that is definitely a good shift. Iron Swan. Too situational to be upgraded, I think. Barbaric. Yeah. What does that do? It makes me winded, but gives them... Or well, it stuns them if... Okay. Confusing one, but sure. Toe to toe. I like this defender. And it decision, let's upgrade that. And does upgrading butterfoot medicine do anything? It makes it heal for a little bit more, sure. Definitely need more healing last time. That is looking good. We Each might improvement be a pet. variable in the equation of your fate. Let's select our route. Booty, or oh, the way is lit. A crow's nest. We can spelunk to clear out the layer or visit a creature den. I think we're going to visit a creature den because we tried the layer city. earlier. Died. Another inferno of mutilation and madness. To the sprawl. The great cities of man. Ruined and aflame. John wants to go to the hoarder, but I just spent all my money. Is pointless. That's a lot of blood. Okay. Not a bad start. Start with... Let's 
pull that lady at the back. Lions won't slap. Or not, as the case may be. No, don't protect the child. that needed four damage. It's very unfortunate. Mm. Well I guess we just start chopping. Goodness, we can just chop away. There's definitely some damage I was missing in this game. I not much needed that. We've got lots of block with guarding. I think I can just push forwards. It's more guard. This ignores block, which I forgot about, which is actually really good that throw and dagger. Double throw him. Probably a little bit more damage. Two damage is not very much. We'll heal that up and we'll cut. Don't need to cure our uh, mana salvums. Death store is nice. I think he should die next turn. Well, yeah, he's, he's dead. Cheeky heal, I guess. Doesn't heal for anything, just get the light off him. Problems have their solutions. Even the big ones. Dodging everything that's in the way, and you need to remember to run over like things on purpose. We Train of Reflection. I would like some more Blight Skills on my Plague Doctor. Chapter 2. Head of the Class. The Professor was a relic. Hacking and wheezing his way through a hopelessly conventional curriculum. Mm -hmm. Stressing me out for lecture. I mean, that does feel very relatable. Sit down. Started rambling. How do I finish? I suspected that. <laughs> oh dear. She delighted in the combative debate, and behind her bookish glasses, reveled in their outrage and confusion. 
That sounds like a typical debater. YouTube debater, perhaps. Play grenade, though. That is something that would be wanted. I'm glad that, that we found more plague. So, two people want to go to the lair, and someone wants to go to creature den. Oh, sorry, someone wants to go to the unknown. Oh, I guess we'll try the lair. You're decidedly inconvenient. At least we know what's coming. I should actually equip the guys with combat items. A dog. A mongrel. And a fire moth. Don't like the sound of a fire moth. It's a dog with a post guard, I see. Let's blind these two at the back. Resisted it. Measure out your violence. The mouth and apply makes sense, it judiciously. Now. Really spread. That's a big heal. This won't be curing everything. That is very nice. We uh, need to tank up better. Is so it worth to do bleeding? Probably not. It's probably just better just to big hit. I'm gonna have to heal out. Health before we went into the uh, the horrible cave. Let's get a big one. Yes, that's what we elementary. Need. In this weighty gloom, a spark. Woods to the layer. This is a den of absolute evil and wretchedness. Prepare yourself. The library burns. And with it, the remains of philosophy, reason, and insight. So I've never seen what this guy does, other than move forwards. His, uh, he only has one other ability, which I'm assuming is explode. So we are not going to let him then. This was like a much easier start than the other layer. Thankfully, we'll actually just dummy now before he gets to do anything. Oh, 
Fave sprints. I forgot again to equip any items. <laughs> oh no. And they should all just die. I guess we'll do it for them. Uh, yeah, we can advance. Yeah, I'm expecting these guys. Don't know what this thing is. Let us take a closer on. look at the thing. As it's repulsive as it is. it is. Doesn't have much health. And he's closed. That might be annoying. We can rely only upon each other. <laughs> so I have a moment, I didn't know they could reach all the way to the back. Yeah. Putting this blight, unfortunately, I need to not manage to apply the. himself and healed himself. Okay. It's shown eyes closed again, I'm just blinding. Not a big deal. his dodge. But he is healing himself as well. Agony by accumulation. It's a lot of dots. Uh let's deal with my stress a little bit. It's got repost, but this might just kill him. He did not kill him. Very, very close. In this guy the that way. Probably better just to kill her. I was thinking about healing or killing, but yeah. Well, we're doing okay. The complete catalog. I'm gonna play on crit. Burn. These are quite good trinkets. Let's try it. Let's give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, I don't mind the fact that it's just one gun. Got me. You know that's bad. Oh, and he's getting a load of turns. Okay, very resistant to burn. Um, there are damage books in the way. But I can just hit him in the back. I like his little lectern thing spins. Oh dear. Hmm. Oh, you son of a... Oh, I don't want to crit the books. Oh, 
I want to be hitting the books? I don't know. She's killing the books. Yeah. Oh, that's a big load of it. I've barely hit that. Cool, this guy's in uh, very silly. I want to burn him that much. It's been boring to him. Got his block. We're doing damage. Oh, so I think throw dagger's better than the blight. Dreadfully good at this. End. Why are my people getting so stressed about the book being destroyed quickly? And yes, books burn. You should know this. I guess it's maybe the loss of knowledge. More so. Who's got a lot of fire on me? I don't think it's worth doing a big heal. She has a million turns. I want any books at me. Generosity. What a welcome one, nonetheless. Did I just get a load of negative for healing someone? I got a load of negative. close to that. Worried all the books have gone. Oh, he healed. Agony. Now he's My got. He's just got unending turns. Steady Are you yourself. kidding me? He got four turns in a row. He was on one health. Inexorable. Hold fast. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. Glorious end, 
and found it. I can't believe I lost this to RNG. Self-reliance is a rare and wonderful thing. He had... If, if I'd rolled slightly higher damage, or s just slightly higher with um, attacks... Yeah, he had, and he had a 25% chance of... Um, of dying. Sorry, I had a 75% chance of dying. And I just got a yeah. Just end it. <laughs> if I'd applied light a few times. Sadly, wow. Some casualties are to be expected. That feels bad. That shouldn't not have been. Knowledge. If I hadn't crit those books, actually, if I hadn't got double crits on those books, that would have, um, that would have survived. A nebulous nightmare. An apocalypse that only we can oppose. Those layers do not seem worth it at all. They are way too challenging. Study the winding roads and routes of our kingdom. Find any advantage. Have a look at the paths. Marks the venom drop. Eh, not too sure about that. What paths do we have? The Ravager. Health, more damage, less resistance to. I'm not sure about that. It's turn start gain a load of bleed. That seems very bad. I never liked the self bleed in Dark Dungeon 1. Shield attack skills. The true splendor of a world. Those who live within what does that it. that mean? I like the Hellion. Hellion a seems good. A little more light. A little more strength. To recall a thing is to make it real once more. The string bugle. Welcome advancement to the survival. <laughs> nice. Steel plating, yeah, that seems pretty good. And then in item. A drop of sanity in a sea of madness. Less time keep. Well, I'm definitely um, enjoying this game. I, it's very highlightable issues already though. Uh, I don't like how you it you only have a few screens to sort out your inventory, but a lot of the game it auto moves you from place to place, so it's very easy to not have enough time to sort out your inventory. That is a little frustrating because I probably would have won that boss fight if I'd actually equipped. Combat Between items. semesters, we would spend our days rambling the woods, Ooh, talking it's the same pictures of esoteric again. theory and ancient mysteries. The crossroads, where lost souls hope to find their way. Honestly, I'm not sold on this car thing. Beneath bloodlust yeah. and fury, there is Don't. emptiness and shame. I mean. It adds as much to the game as it takes away. I think that's how I would put it. We'll, we'll try this surgeon. 
Co again. Seemed rather neat. Hey, Sergeant, I still don't understand that and try Ravager as well. This looks good. I did a rounding party, that was not the way it was. Pride. More devastating than the horrors of a hundred campaigns. Hmm. Enter the sprawl, visit a field hospital, land the killing blow on eight plus cadavers. That is quite long. Use throw dagger plus two times in a single fight. I mean, that's easy. <laughs> okay. This is fine. Oh my, I just realized my alien is named Boudica. Interesting. Avarice slips unseen into the catacombs of the mind. You came here seeking solace, but found stagnation instead. You can feel it. A change in the air. I think this run I will focus on the You see, even your stop, valley stop trying to do silly things, I'm gonna focus on the shame. First I will distort something out very quickly, so be right back. I'm back. Right. When I was away, I had a little think about what uh, what I was thinking about the stagecoach. So in a lot of games, you have you have movement as usually your main advantage. ability, right? You spend most of your time in a game moving around, and you might not realize that. But, I mean, in all MMOs, the thing you probably do the most is moving. It's things like World of Warcraft and PC 14, you're moving around. You're moving around in fights, you're moving around between quests, you're moving around between um, kind of whatever it is that you're doing. You don't actually spend most of your time in combat, but combat is where you, you know, the, the kind of meat of the game actually is. Or ice and roleplay or whatever kind of thing it is you do, movement is always still a part of it. And in those games movement isn't that interesting. There's animation to it and things happen. 
and you know, personally they've always found classes that move around quickly or have like jumps and dashes to be the things that I find exciting in those games. Um, in this game, you do have something similar in terms of weirdly your movement being quite important in the game or being quite a big part of the game but it isn't important in any way like moving around in a cart Persistence doesn't really overcome do anything even the greatest of threats. and I guess I guess to say that movement is the thing that you do mostly is wrong but it is definitely something you do a lot of like just moving around in the car from place to place. Yeah, you probably spend more time in combat, as these combat encounters do take a while. The past is gone. But the Let car isn't particularly interesting. And if you compare it to Darkest Dungeon 1, you and again, you moved around a lot in that game. Probably same, if not slightly more than this game. But the movement felt tense. Because you were going from left to right, you had to keep your eye out for traps. You could see things coming up, but you couldn't see combat coming up. So you there knew that that was going to jump out at you at some point. A little light still and I think they've slightly missed a and trick here can, with um, wealth. No longer has meaning. If indeed it well, ever did. the idea that the, the the kind of the movement is not much of a focus, but seems to be part of the game, but not really very much is happening, is a little strange. So I guess what I'm saying is, is that the cart movement being such a big thing that you do in this game and not being particularly interesting in any way. Like you, you could totally automate it and just literally watch it as a cutscene. And you'd probably get the same amount of enjoyment out of moving the car as you do currently. It just... I don't really get why it's part of the game. Okay. It should have been more than what it is. Planning and mindfulness, as vital to survival as sharpened steel. Anyway, that's that thought over. I pick this radiant flame. You know what? Screw it. A sound investment. In Let's see if we can progress. Because I am curious if there are other regions in this. This um game, as we have only seen two. Just the guarding gauntlet. I will use the Radiant Flame once just to see what it's like. If it makes the game too cheap, then maybe we'll uh, not use it again. Add to this to here. Once equipped, this can't be removed. Okay. We'll give it a go. Sometimes it is wiser to try a new easy mode on trials past. Perhaps. Vicious. Mr. Pugil. I mean, these these two are never going to be first in turn order, so I don't think it matters. I'm happy with my Plague Doctor being getting stealth every now and again. Oh, that's a big health increase. <laughs> okay. Combat items. Uh. Bandages, sounds good. Glimmer of hope. Thunderclap grenades. What do we need to do? We need to kill cadavers. 
visit the field hospital and enter the small. A burst okay. of many forks in the road. Devious plans or blood and, and enemy advantage chance. So this road. is the sprawl is more difficult. We have a goal of clearing out the lair again. Gosh dang. Because we don't have to clear up the lair. Visit a creature then. Let's let's do the Another slightly harder sprawl. City. Another inferno of mutilation and madness. Eat some bread. Our front liners. With a little bit of stress. Actually using consumable items. That probably does make the game the same. I do think, as we're about to see in this movement section here, the reason they added things to hit on the road was just because I think they realized that their movement was a little dull. But I don't think it's enough. If, if you know it's a little dull, why do it at all? As far as we go. Tangled trails, whisper of torment. This is a little mini game to hit these little skulls and things that are on the road, but ultimately, I wouldn't mind if I just teleported to the next location. Let us hope their desperation can be eased. We can gain in items, food, or stagecoach items. I do want. Uh, I do want my healer to be on good terms with my tanks. My front wing guys, but they let's not go down. Uh, we'll take the in items. An unexpected find. Oh, we're doing tools. Nice. Now this was a double armor hazard route. Gotta be careful of that then. Don't want to get too many more of them. The watch tower. Just got everything on our way. Wow, there's a lot of a lot of tear drops or oblivion tears. Across the nation of the inevitable. And is there is just armor damage itself. everywhere. And unfortunately, I have gone the route that uh, I probably should have looked a little bit further. Ahead. I do this in Slay the Spire as well. I do not look. I would really like the hero shrine, but that would mean that we lose our armor and have to do emergency repairs but unlocking new skills sounds fun so i'm gonna do it we haven't seen what uh, emergency repairs actually is so i'm gonna is go. your coat prepared for the upcoming obstruction it is not look ahead a place to reflect remember and reconcile I can eat them left. I'm blocking some bandages. This, this is kind of what I mean, is that I now need to stop the coach, go into people's inventories, and equip some bandages. Then come on. By confronting the past, we learn to face the Unless, can you do it on the screen? Maybe you can. Maybe I just missed it. Shrine of Reflection. Would quite like some better moves on my main times. Chapter two: A leader of men. Behold the 
conquering general, marching his men to victory. Didn't seem very inspiring. Seemed to make everyone weak and vulnerable when I inspired them. Getting the impression that the helps our man at arms is not a particularly effective leader. Perhaps he was promoted too soon. Advance? Flank? Guys, I'll get you all killed very quickly. It's an interesting scenario, but it looks just like one where I have no real say in what's happening. We're going to be watching animations for a very, very long time. Okay, we won. I was worried that I actually had to win that. A massacre. A complete and total nice. failure of command. Stand fast. That's kind of what I wanted. Something to give me a little bit more block, a little bit more tankiness. Deserted by my own kind. Yeah, I know that feeling. Don't think I need to hold the line. Let's do stand first. Let us hope the madman's scrounging has borne fruit. We now have no armor at all. It should be fine for now. As long as we don't get shattered incoherently. But his prices remain fixed. I haven't got any baubles. Um, so all of these interesting things, unfortunately, are not viable. That would be really nice, that annotated textbook. 10% melee crit. Why am I looking at it? I'm looking at things I can't buy. Just looking at all the things I can't afford. Let's not do that. That's definitely a way to make yourself miserable. Moving aura. It's worth fire. I have lots of that. Oops. Pressing all of them. Oops. that one on the oil. We go through the loathing whispers. The loathing whispers. Ten percent flame drain and twenty percent advantage chance for enemies. We are then going to immediately hit it again. Oh no, maybe not. Do another combat. We can leave or we can fight. I definitely will fight. And we can uh, shrangle to doing this.
Just water regains it, okay. I mean, when I have sturdy enemies, they have more health and more resistance to movement. Well, I want to kill this guy at the back. Hold fast. Oh. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. We've got my bugle, so we're tanking up. I'm going to use a little more help. Light my torch. And we're going to stand fast. Let's get... Do I want to get slicing or blinding? Emboldening. Let's see if we can kill this guy at the back with a big hit. No, we literally rolled... I could roll between 7 and 14 and we roll the very bottom. That's another credit. That didn't go very well. Dealt with the annoying one. Prevent the fires. We can rely only upon each other. Let's do here. Just chop the zombie, I think. We can do. We can remove the repost. I can't believe the one guy that we got to hit me with dodged it. I don't know how you dodge being yelled at. Just positive mental state, I guess. A miscalculation, perhaps. Thankfully, that damage did lower him below half, so we only got a big heal. 20 health. It's not bad. Steady yourself. He has eaten 4 crits this round. Enough of that zombie. Okay. Do the shuffle. They all resist. <laughs> okay. Well. Wasn't great. But I did get rid of some of the block and dodge and various things. I'm going on. Oh, this guy getting very annoying. Empowered, emboldened. Does not take damage. Can't post if you're dead. Extinguished at last. I don't think I have any tanks. Uh, guess we just chop. That's unfortunate. That is a big burn. Ow. Took 12 burning damage there. 12 dot damage even. Oh, Early experiment. I mean, 
good, but not for this build. Because we are doing the no blight build. But it is interesting. Two resistance encounters or a hero shrine. I'm gonna go for the hero shrine. They seem pretty worthwhile. The worst kind of parasite. Opportunists. Two bandits, that's not bad. Cooperation is the key. That is not the move I need to do. Good old AoE wonder. That, that combat was incredibly Abandoned easy compared to some of the other things that we've encountered. I wonder why that is. Or what makes that one... I would have, you know, I was expecting quite a difficult fight. I think that was uh, very, very easy. Maybe because it was halfway through a road and it's less challenging? Maybe that's a thing. Let's go with Boudicca. Hellion. Chapter 1. The Eve of Glory. She was young to join the war band, but any who challenged her readiness were met with clenched fists and violent indignation. Having bloodied the last of her detractors, the matter was considered finally settled. On the eve of battle, she joined her clanmates in a raucous celebration, her stein and her spirits overflowing with abundance. Okay, that looks like complete skill. And it sure is. Bleeding on your cell? No, self-winding. But that is a big bleed. I mean, all of our characters have pretty miserable backstories. I do wonder if there's one guy who's just like, yeah, he's alright. Perfectly happy childhood. Perfectly happy adulthood. Like, Excellent work. Knowing the way this game likes to tell its tales, it's always just depressing. But what does Winded do again? When it's 33% damage and 3 speed per Winded token persists until the end of combat. Okay, that is quite a big debuff. Just to apply some weak? Oh, I'm not sure if that's worth it. <laughs> Certainly not when that was our other choice. And wanes. Yeah, these mid road fights do seem a lot easier than uh, event fights. Also, not being in a layer is certainly helpful. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. I guess we are playing on easy mode. There's luxury gear. Maybe we'll find some in this place. 
And usually it's cultist items, so I think it's unlikely. Now these guys do a lot of bleed. And a lot of crits, they crit all the damn time. Let's give ourselves some buffs, shall we? We can rely only upon each other. Good. Resist was nice. Good stuff. Altar of the Nine. So this is the stealth. Um. Hmm. Let's do some blocking. I don't find these cherubs much of a threat. They seem to be okay. Oops. I'm just gonna stack a load of block as we are taunting. Seems like the smart thing to do. So these guys are buffing. Small hit, but that's okay. And then we can let's burn through some block and dodge. Oh, master stroke. Pick up the altar. Cooperation is the key. What I'm going to do with that is nice. Let's cure some stress a little. A brilliant conclusion. Sure was. I'm gonna guarantee the kill. Let's get rid of that guy. I'm starting to stack the bleed a little bit. Poor old Barristian. I might clear a corpse. Is that worth it? It doesn't feel that worth it. Yeah, I was just thinking clearing a corpse so more all the characters could start stabbing, but no, I didn't think that was worth it. This wound, at least, has been tended to. It's your confession. Oh, bandage myself. That's not worth it at all. I taught he with toe to toe and then guard. Collaboration confers advantage. Poor Molotov really does get hit by everything, doesn't he? I guess that is the point. I think now I'll clear a corpse, actually. I want to kill this cherub of the bear. Need to be in hit range to do it. And he goes. Let's get a quick... Let's get a quick play dot. Heal, that's what we want to see because this guy should bleed out. Let's make sure of it. No death stall. Steady yourself. Oh no, we've got stress. Don't. Yeah, that's what we want to see. Oh, that makes everyone really like you. Excellent. Now here's something that is going to be useful to know, and I have no idea. We have... Abates. At turn start we have a 25% chance to gain 3 bleed. If I boost my bleed resistance, 
Does that lower at all? I don't know. I think it might not, so I, th I think that is going to be a bad combination. So let's use it on Burstian instead. This guy has so much crit. We have not seen the uh, Pyromaniac yet. So when he gets hit, he can set himself on fire. He can apply fire on it. But he also can gain... A 5% chance of Molotov Cocktail is what that looks like? I mean, that is not in this list. I don't know what that is trying to show me. I guess we can give him some fire resistance. Good. These warm candlelit windows promise refuge. little bit further we into the game. We've gained some of years a lot of quirks, holy right. crap. Think um, and rest. Phantophobic. Fear of death and dying. Understandable. But Pathfinder? That's nice. Ascetic? Denial of pleasure in order to refine the spirit. That is not what I thought that was. Amateur Armorsmith. Okay. Baristian Fanatic Fury. Slow hand. <laughs> Slow handed. Wow. Oh no. Budoka gaming. Damn. That's a lot of nasty things. We probably need to find our medical tent or whatever it's called. And what you can, for wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. Higher resistance, that would have been useful last time. Oh, my name is in disease resistance. It's quite cheap. Not buy them up. Both my thumb rings. Noxious items equipped. What is a noxious item? I have no idea. The means of mastery. mastery. Got quite a lot of points here. What does upgrading stand fast do? It removes combo and gives you an awful lot of block. Bellow moves crit and that is very good. Bolster I think is very very nice for dealing with stress so I think I'm going to do that. Blinding gas, upgrading that would be nice. Also upgrading this sounds prevalent. Poison dart, maybe? It is my only front hitting ability on this character, which is a little bit of a problem. I think I'll upgrade that if there's nothing else to upgrade. Iron Swan, I don't think is worth upgrading. If it bleeds, I'm not. Like, can't talk at the moment. Bleed out. Wound, uh, winding myself is, it just seems very nasty. Yeah, I think. I think we upgrade poison dart. 
I'm blinding cats. That's what I'm gonna do. Just start using Planning those abilities a little bit. We do need to upgrade or repair even. Everywhere in ruin. The way is lit. There are more assistance encounters. We need to visit an oasis and we gain a yeah, pretty nice trinket. Let's go. Rain, resignation and death. This land is truly barren. Forming a relationship. Whenever resting it in, there is a chance that relationships will form between heroes. Relationships can be positive or negative. The chance of a relationship forming is determined by the hero's shared affinity. Relationships infuse hero combat skills with blessings or curses. Even more important, heroes will sometimes act on their own to help or hinder the relationship apart. Blessed skills. So, they benefit. Oh, okay, this is very new. Curse skills, so banned. Okay. Well, so we have our Hellion probably making a positive relationship. These two, they are now hopeful. The hopeful. So Iron Swan now reduces Burstian stress, and Defender reduces Boudicca's stress. Interesting. I think these two are happy as well. They are both hopeful as well. Wicked Hack reduces Ori's stress, Thrown Dagger reduces Boudicca's stress, I mean, cool, yeah, not super interesting, it was, maybe the hopeful relationship is just one of many, but a little bit of stress release, not too interesting, I guess. I was hoping the interaction would be a uh, little bit more. Only resignation. We have a. Oh no, I need to visit an oasis. But I did want to visit a, a hospital. Is there another hospital in There is just assistance encounters everywhere. So no, this is either my chance of an oasis or a hospital. I don't actually have any money. So I guess the oasis are doing this. Brace up. There is danger on this path. I haven't been to an oasis before. Let's see what this is. Doesn't look like an oasis. Foes may lose scent if we bathe. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to go to either of these. Let's go to the other one. I don't want to go to that way. Found some slime mold from smashing through these barricades. Who is driving the coach? Reach it there. So we have run away, fight, run away. Mm. I want to fight, but I also don't want to have a negative relationship with these two people, so I guess we run away.
To be fair, it is a tree tea full of spiders. I can understand not wanting to go. Chime. Oh, it's a luxury gear. But I don't think I can equip it yet. I would have to equip it at the next turn, which we may or may not get Analysis to. Analysis is invaluable until it becomes an excuse for an action. Stop insulting me. <laughs> I hear you there, narrator. Talking crap. The flame sputters. You must give hope to get it. Are you running out of flame? Surely not. I didn't read the Oasis. The Oasis is a much needed sanctuary along the roads fraught with peril. Stress relief and related items are the primary benefit. Hmm. Hmm. So this is a buffed vision. And now he is a dead villager. I guess we just this game. Empowered, emboldened. Maybe blind. The cat was already blind. Well, now it's blind twice. A master stroke. Oh, watch. I'm gonna throw a dagger, lowering the stress, that's nice. Let me just whack away at this thing. Easy piece. Why would I ever want to leave items? I guess I don't mind having the option, but I don't know why I ever would. Desperate few. What does that do? It's a Oh, plus one armor to my wagon, I see. Or we gain in items. I'd quite like to items. In crisis, no gain is insignificant. Sure. Hmm, which one do I choose? Well, we have lots of tears. It really doesn't matter which one I choose, because they all go the same way. So I guess we'll go the way that's interesting, because we don't know what to do. Lost and desperate. They need your help. Is that right? I think we've got nothing. Well, I guess nothing's an option. We can get plus one to our wheels, we can get scouting, or we can buy everything. Okay. How about we gain some more wheels? Right, those two really like each other. 
The loathing whispers. An unknown or an assistance camp? Everyone wants to go to the unknown, and I agree with them. Ooh, it's a hero shrine. Yes. We must understand the path if we are ever to be free of it. Let's go with the war tree this time. And once some more skills on him. Chapter 2. Nightcap. Night after night of disrespect and abuse, enough was enough. Enraged husband. Read back. Brian raised husband that blicker cap. Understand what I'm doing. Okay, that doesn't seem to be doing anything. How much poison in his drink does he need? Did I just get unlucky here or what? Only when we acknowledge the past can we be free from it. I don't get how I was meant to ever win that. Huh? He just Kept protecting the drinks cart and Let us you lose. The mad man's scrounging has what? Fruit. Yeah, I think that was just bad RNG. That's a little bit disappointing. This is particularly interesting. Just standing at a brick wall of crap. Um, there are a lot of items in this game, and not many of them are very exciting at all. I guess we could take some bleed resist, which might be nice for our alien who is struggling with that. Or, gee, I mean, it's, it's so low a bleed resist anyway, maybe it's just not worth it. stuff but not not usable I guess we could buy some things for the plane I do wish there was a hot bar, hot key to just buy things a little quicker I've tried right clicking I've tried left clicking oh double left clicking one does it okay you never know in these games it's one of 20 different things it'll be shift left click control click be everything that Except the last thing for us. That'll always be the one. Right. 
don't think any of these drinkers are that good. And then, let's get out there. Let's go to an oblivion mass. The avatars of oblivion, clergy of the spreading stain. Along with loathing fouls. Some smoke bombs. Reality comes asunder before our eyes. What? Be useful to have. Wouldn't mind a smoke bomb. Oh, I can sort of good. That's what I was trying to see. Don't need these trinkets. I'm definitely not going to use this or this. Well, that's interesting. They formed a positive relationship with each other, even though they aren't actually a very good relationship at all. So it's, it's an RNG roll, I guess. Right, we have fight, fight, or fight. Eastern enemies, well, that sounds bad. Two terrors, no annoying hero. I like that. I like that a lot. If I'm invisible, this ignores dodge. <laughs> or if I get lucky, it ignores dodge too. Is, these are the same annoying guys who do a ton of bleed, so I guess buffing our selves up with that is useful. Though I think. Other. Budokos is going to get bled constantly. Smoke. Kill the child at the back. It's like horrible noise. This guy at the front is buffed. And measure out crit. your violence and apply it judiciously. We're gonna remove that bleed. Don't need to play crazy here. That weak is doing a lot of work. The fiend's strength dwindles. Both cherubs down, or just gonna work on the front one. He's gonna work on us as well. This wound at least has been tended to. Doing no damage through block and weak, that is pretty cool. Eight damage. Do another stab. And it should be this guy on death's door at least. Not a kill. But he is weak. He has 
zero percent chance of resisting death. I think. I think that's what it means. Oh, I think we can just leave him to bleed out. Stab the gun behind him. The slow suffering begins. Just to make sure. I wasn't 100% sure if I was right. So we just hit him with the as well. Threats await those who dare. Yeah, with dark impulse and great, the greater future. Those aren't bad trinkets. Those aren't bad at all. What is it best? Hmm. That would be nice, actually. Stop her being pulled. I'm not sure if I need blight resistance. I certainly don't need flame resistance. Let's just make this guy immune to blight. Impervious enemies. They are resistant to stun. Well, I have none. Get rid of both their conclusion. dodges. And hit both of them as well, nice. Stock. Okay. Ooh, he's a bit of money. Let's just stab the guy at the front. He is also buffed up, as is the dog behind him, I think. No, we should hit the guy at the front. And it's like, oh, I might be able to kill the dog, but no. Let's play it safe. Not silly. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. It's fine for her to take a little bit of damage, because she never takes it. Judiciously. Oh, I guess we just kill the dog. A simple variable, easily resolved. Two health there. Oof, how? Big hit. I don't want to kill him. So I'm gonna heal this guy first. Now I'm okay to kill him. Continues. We are the flame, burning brightly for all the world to see. Another cultist encounter. Bishop or something? Deacon, that was it. Resulting unspeakable cosmic forces. Okay. <laughs> Collaboration confers advantage. I, I think the Deacon is mostly stressed.
he, he has pretty out. Need to de-stress first. Empowered, emboldened. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Heal. I'll have to heal. This is no time to falter. Perfect time to falter. Mistimed. Misdirected. Why we don't need that guy to see? I don't know why I'm splitting my damage like this. This is unwise. Twenty six damage. Rely only upon each other. Ooh, I want to get my stress heal off. There we go. Now we can kill him. A righteous action. We are the flame, burning brightly. Ooh, that's for interesting. One seventy-five percent max health, but minus fifty percent damage. That'd probably be good on my tanky minion. 66% blight resistance. Interesting. Do I have another stained item? I think I do. Uh, anymore. in fact, he is wearing it. So yeah, let's, let's put this on him. He has 84 health, but now does not do any damage at all. So perhaps we drop Crush and take him apart. I can discard that one safely. Who would benefit from light protection? Sure. Well, I haven't really seen much blight. Maybe, maybe she, my frontliner, Hillian, would benefit a little bit more. There are yet places such as this where a little light still gathers. Slippery, devout, greedy, and needler. Sharp wit, sharp words in this. Goal was complete. We got a foreclosion notice. <laughs> Weird thing to be getting, but yes, we now have this. Flashing daggers is a bit better. We can go to the vision. Spend what you can, for wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. I guess we can buy some bread. Something to ease the Maybe this leaf the suspension. Let's just buy things, you know, that is too much. I'm not sure what's coming up, if anything. This is the furthest Experience, I've got. However painful, 
is the greatest teacher of all. Is worth upgrading. I guess I am Swan now. Let's do that. Or perhaps, perhaps I should have upgraded Ounce of Protection or Prevention. In items. I think Beristin has enough health. Like two recipients. Sure. No. I didn't like that, but select any hero. Well, that went pretty well. <laughs> nice. Uh, maybe I should have put this leaf suspension on. As vital to survival as sharpened steel. Mm, is there anything else in items I can make that is useful? Oh, right. buy some playing cards comfort. again. Let's see if it will go terribly this time. No, they really seem to like playing cards. They are very happy about that. And some bread. Or a bit low health. So I would say that eating bread straight is uh, a little strange. But I, I do actually do that. Quite like just bread. Give Boudicca some resistance. Two targets. Let's make these two friends. And these two friends as well. There we go. I think we've done everything we can. The Wainwright is wanting me to upgrade my armor. The roads are rife with good choice. A little protection is always welcome. Over the mountain. Oh, I don't think I can get the in. Inevitable end of your journey awaits you once again. Open for some relationship changes. Yes. These two are now hopeful. I, I thought hopeful. they really were hopeful. Wicked hack and rampant. Respectful, we finally have something tested. different. A bond to be counted on. Okay, so when I use Bellow, my Plague Doctor gets dodge. And when I use Stab, Aristian gets strength. That is yeah, not that useful. And hopeful, I okay. But at least we do know there is a different combination of perks. Relationship perks. What's the mountain? At last, the great Ziggurat, temple of failure and regret. I don't think I can get in, but. Uh... Creepy though. Oblivion Ingress again. You can jump in. This combat, does that mean combat with the debuff or just combat? Not really sure how to read that. So we'll go for this one. I wasn't sure who was getting the debuff. If it was me or if it was the Indians. We have a buffed up guy at the front. Quite a big deacon. Hmm. Let's get the 
barrel at the back. So he doesn't really stress stuff like that. And he's blowing these two. Days, but not a bit. Fortunate. Still useful. Big hit. Cooperation is the key. When you're pushing him down, does it? Yeah. Oh, we have Paramaniac. Must spend their entire turn using a firebomb skill. Uh, what? Oh, a five. I mean, what's fine? Well, I got it the wrong person. You can reach all the way back there, can you? I think that was because she was pushed back. Yes, maybe we just tank up. Flash from bone. We actually managed to resist something that was bleed related. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. Okay, because this guy's so big, I can actually hit him from pretty much all angles. Ooh! <laughs> nice. Wait, a Pyromania Gamma? We have not seen it at all this whole game, and now multiple Pyromaniac procs in the room. Another Firebomb. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. You get no rewards. The religion is cathedral, malign temple of the Iron Crown. Then I don't have a trinket. Must be freed of its self imposed incarceration. Not use range skills or items. Um, okay. Um. What is this? Padlock of wasting, the latch of regret, the bolt of lamination. <laughs> Not la lamentation. <laughs> Not lamination. That would be a very different thing. And the shackles of despair. Um, we have absolutely no idea what any of these things do. Cooperation is the key. Paralyzing fear. Damn, I can understand. That reflects the damage. Is that what happened there? Oh my, they get a lot of times. Oh my, that's... Denial of fortitude. Cannot use healing skills. Okay, lovely. Oh, 
Well, this middle one seems to hit very hard. I seem to be taking a single amount of damage when I hit these things. Like not an I think what that's a them? dodgy animation. Back so intently from the abyss. That was really annoying. It's the fun. I do not know what to do, I don't want to keep drinking absinthe, I guess we just pass. Well, sometimes it does feel like you're just sitting and watching it and you take a million turns. It's like you're either either stunned or dazed or whatever. I don't know, fortitude, is that no healing? That's not bad. Okay, well actually regret is dead, but now they hit harder. Can hit this one that was doing a lot of damage. Excellent work. A lot of damage. That is dying, but now this is why I saved the drink capsule. Just get a big heal, we get a dodge. Get really nice. So I guess we didn't heal it at all for some reason. Why did that not heal? Like, really? Why did that not heal? Inches from death. Is there nothing you oh, was she like 26% or something? I really would have thought she was below the threshold. How does this only heal for three? What? This wound at least has been tended to. Empowered. Emboldened. Do not understand what is going on. They start critting. Ay, 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 ay. Chain on the heel. It's okay. I guess we need to be splitting our damage a little bit. Measured and steady. I don't think splitting damage is worth it. Again, damn. Okay. A brilliant conclusion. Some good damage, you know. Oh, this guy. Okay, you might do have to focus them there. In crisis, 
we can rely only upon each other. Sweat-soaked brows, unsteady stances, exhaustion takes hold. Then, uh... Relief comes rarely in these times. Savor it. Overwhelming. Well, 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 that was a big crap. Let's get it. Let's get this kill. Don't know what I'm doing for free. Let's get a death blow crit. At last, the Peace. world's mind is free to remember a time before the cancerous corruption. I thought I could only get in here if I had a trophy. I don't understand. Success, so long pursued, is rewarded only with creeping revelation. A lot of cannons. But we did it, we defeated our first boss uh, well, on <laughs> kind of easy mode, and that was um that was close even though. It was you who found the cipher, scribbled hastily in the decaying margins of some long forgotten tome, scribbled in blood. Whether by providence or happenstance. We stumbled upon the mark of some strange power invoked the world over, reflected in cultures predating mankind itself. A semicircle radiating five points of power, a symbol hidden deep in the iconography of every ancient empire. The Iron Crown, enigmatic and ubiquitous. It was not a perfect world, but it was ours, and we must fight to restore it. Have we just destroyed the world? Is that is that the idea? Yeah. For tools of iron. Such implements will serve us well. Little thought. Plotting powers, that is quite is good. another implement at our disposal. New instruments will help us diagnose the world's affliction and overcome it. Beaches, remove. I do really want that, actually. I was kind of hoping to find an item that These are helps with horrible souls. Uh, some of the horrible nasty just. Well, I think it was syphilis that one of my characters got. I want to deal with that. I think I am going to unlock some more characters. Let's try a different healer, Vestal. shall we? The Vestial. And Flagellant sounds interesting. Front rank, Blight, Durable, Superficial Support. Not sure how well those two are in a combo. the mind and survive this boss to unlock what memories do we have a second chance or father's praise huh. 
Oh, wait. oh this costs candles, okay. Uh, these are all the same thing. This actually costs five candles, right. Well, I only have two unlocked, I see. Look to those who have known fear and failure in ample portion. A little more light, a little more strength. Fossa. We have the Maniac. Well, sacrifice Blight puts in favor of flexible positioning, debuffs, and disruption. And this is specializing in debuffs and token removal. Rank flexible role for some party defense. And finally, we have back rank that specialize in consecrations gain something consecration lactic what is it? something not sure well let's unlock the path the of both of them of a world. those who live within it i'm interested in unlocking bounty hunter, hunter. that's interesting should i just unlock all the characters sure jester lever occultist I believe we have now unlocked the mountain. The towering mountain. Here you unlock cosmetic alterations for each class. None of these rewards affect you. Okay. So if we don't like the way someone looks, we can change their cosmetics. Phenomenal. I don't care about that. The more they have to hold on to, the harder they will fight. Let's do some more trinkets. Like some more choices in that regard. Sanity in a sea of madness. Maybe another stagecoach item. A welcome advancement in the science of survival. Add items. Scale up trinkets. The vanished vanity. Actually, no, let's not do that. Bring my pyroman up to his path as well. And there we go, I think we spent all our candles. Wisdom will help you choose a path. Resourcefulness will ensure you survive it. Let's have a look at my new characters. Using confession. Which confession you choose determines which final boss you must face in the mountain. Also changes how long the expedition is, which buffs enemies can get via ordainment, flame effects, and more. Heroes have died, but you have not an additional hero class in your profile replacement. Heroes will await you at the next inn. Interesting. You must face your failures, or be consumed by them. I can't go back and do the one more. I have to do this end. Left unsurfaced, grieve. On the denial confession, you do not require a trophy to enter the mountain. Okay, that makes sense. But for all other confessions, you must collect at least one trophy by defeating region boss. Boss lives in layers. You may attack a boss early in the expedition or later on, but remember, if you reach the gates of the mountain without a trophy in your possession, the expedition will be over. Even though the journey will be ended, you'll still score candles of hope. Princes gain a terrible strength. That makes more sense. I was wondering why I was able to get into the mountain. Your vociferous calls to bring our findings before the faculty were dangerously premature. Given the gaps in our understanding, doing so would risk ridicule, or worse, robbery. I took no pleasure in asserting my seniority, stifling your protestations for the strict mandate of absolute secrecy. You acquiesced, but 
Your plaintive susurrations betrayed a burgeoning resentment. The crossroads. Who will step forward into the light? We have all of these characters now. What would a random party give us? A supplication at the altar of the unknown. Hmm. Let's take a look at them. What is this? Why do you... Oh, is that a memory? Yes. So we've seen these guys. Jester. Razor Wit. Just damage skill that also moves yourself forward and marks them. Fade to black. Blind and damage, slice off. Yes, I remember the Jester being quite strange. Interesting character though. That looks quite fun. The Leper. Just frontline damage. Pretty unreliable damage. 6 to 16 is a lot of variance. And he also blinds himself. Uh, it clears all corpses and mocks back, that's quite nice. We have withstand, taunt, and block. That is a very good tanky move. And we have a self heal and reflection. Quite a strong frontline tank, if it was like, but he, uh, he only has two attacks. It's not too different to our man at arms. Here we have a self but unchecked power. 33% chance per token of burn at the start of each round. Okay. And this is just backline hit. A weakening curse, just applies weak and marks them. We have a big heal. Yes, the heal that has a chance to bleed. Has a hundred percent chance to crit when worship is greater or equal to two. And the vestial. Just a small hit that gives self buff, that's interesting. Illumination ignores dodge and removes dodge and stealth. Here we have well, mechanic in that conviction power certain skills. Okay. That looks nasty. Quite a powerful ability. We have a big heal. Or oh, actually quite a small heal and <laughs> requires minus 25% health. And this gives consecration of fortitude. No, it's quite good. Finding the flagellant. Lots of blight I can see. We have uh, if he does damage to himself, I guess that makes sense with the name. Clearing corpses, applying blight, some self healing. Interesting, these all seem very interesting, but I'm not sure what we're gonna use for our next run, and that next run will have to be tomorrow because I unfortunately don't have time for another one today, so I will. Head out now. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next time.